Hey everyone, what is going on? It is your boy, Isla33, welcoming you back to another episode of Pokemon X. Since last time, I have been on a little trek to the actual uh, Poke Center, healed up my team, leveled up a couple of them as I redid the battle with Seabold, with some revives now in our inventory. So that's why you're seeing some changes in our team. Now we're gonna go into the Wilkstrom room and face off against the metal plated master. Well met, young challenger! Versely, I am the Elite Force Fame Blade of Hardened Steel, Wilkstrom! With my magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will reveal the scope of trainer achievement. Let us both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard! We are challenged by a Vicstrom, the steel guy. Kicking things off with the clef key of Clefiness. We're going in very hard, very fast, as Maya takes the lead. I expect this to go one of two ways. Either A, we land all our infernos and kill this guy's team, or we lose. Simply put, Mega Inferno actually lands. We're gonna blast through the Klefki health bar. There we go. His Probo Pass is next. So Liz comes in. We need to land some water type attacks on a Probo Pass for it to die. And what better person than our Kloitzer? to do such a thing. We're gonna go for the crab. Yes, the crab hammers to land first. That does a nice chunk damage. Discharge. I forgot that Probe Pass can learn this. And I had Blitzor in the last series. So we'll go for a Surf this time. Surf and Turf through his health bar. Down goes the Probo Pass. And there we go. Two Pokemon down, no casualties of war just yet. That's a good sign. AG Slash comes in. The... What type is... Uh, it is Steel Ghost. So, a dark type attack, realistically, is going to do work against it. I would normally switch into Ayaka here and do the uh, mirror, but I think UE here is a lot more favorable. So, we're going to go for the crunchiest of crunches, even though oh god, that's not gonna help we'll go for a crunchy of the crunches, and yeah you can see the chunk does not get to come through it does now, as its defense gets lowered okay so, now we have an issue where I'm gonna switch into Liz hoping we can deal with it, because unless it goes into king shield mode it didn't. Oh, but it did heal. That's an issue. So we'll go surf and turf. Oh, that was a crit. Nice. Uh, we'll go for another surf and turf. And he uses another full shot. That's positively net positive for us. Surf comes through. We should take it to about half HP. There we go. Another surf can come through. He uses Shadow Claw and takes out Liz. Okay. Yikes. We lost two Pokemon to this uh, Aegis Slash. Uh, I don't want to send Yutami in. Let's send him there. I'm thinking carefully here about what we go for because. It just needs to use King's Shield, but uh, it doesn't. It, in fact, lets us land the Inferno. Down goes the Aegislash. And that is really good for us. 
even though we did technically lose two to it. Oh well. Skizzle's next. That's an issue for us. Oh wait, it's a steel bug type. We should be able to infer. We should be able to inferno it. And we do. That should insta give it. Boom, down goes the scissor. And Vixstrom's team has been absolutely eviscerated. Glorious! The trust that you share with your Pokemon surpasses even mine. Wow, nice. Thank you, Vixstrom. What now? What sweet, glorious pain and joy now rock my mighty heart. My will, which ever shakes spears, trembles at so fine a battle as this. I am undone. Good lady, you are indeed our equal and worthy to enter this lofty hall. You so... So you have struck down two of the elite four. The road is still long. Do not waver now. <coughs> Other than kill it by throat. <coughs> oh god. Apologies. But remind me never to do that voice again. So we lost two in that battle. Liz and Yi to take out a uh, To take down a Aegislash. So this time, going into the next battle, I kind of don't want to lose more than one Pokemon. So let's switch to lead. I don't know. And enter the next chamber. And hopefully, this is pretty easy. Because obviously, this could take quite a bit of time but obviously we've got time in this episode to do this so I'm hoping for a quick battle but Wong tells me this is a dragon type trainer because the big old dragon on the wall oh goodness hello to you welcome welcome come in that's just wonderful news. Facing opponents like you and your team will make my Pokemon grow like weeds. Not gonna lie, when I read that, I thought she said like the drug, you know, weed. Her team gets, she gets high on her own supply of dragons. Wait, that's why there's smoke in the room. <laughs> He be smoking that good stuff. <laughs> anyway, Dragalge is a Pokemon that has a lot of interest in me because if it wasn't a Y exclusive Pokemon, it would have been in our team for this run through of Pokemon X. I just thought it's such a unique typing, Dragon and Poison. It would really have fit in nicely into this team, e even though we do have a Tyrantrum and a Charizard that uh, provide the Dragon type. But we could have actually have dropped the Tyrantrum, kept, or dropped the Clawitzer, because Liz is technically X exclusive. So there's that. Now we're going into some tougher opponents, and it's Utami time, as we get Frisk from the Neuburn. And this thing has Air Slash, which is very annoying, because it can do that. And I think it's going to try and flinch us to death. It flinched us to death. It's Mayor time. That annoys me. Getting flinched to death. Literally one hit with an air slash. Flinch. Then second air slash. Critical. Haha. -ha. 
dragon pool so it's gonna hurt oh it hurt a lot our dragon claw though should hurt it back and take it down so we're up two to one in terms of trades of pokemon and 66 on mayor that is a good good sign ayaka grew to level 61 altaria is coming in so this thing possibly could go cotton guard turn one if it gets to survive the dragon claw it did not get to survive the dragon claw and maya gets xp Rustine gets xp and liz levels up Rudyardon, the guy we spoke about two episodes ago, comes into battle. Love this little guy. And we might get hurt by rough skin, but we're certainly getting the kill. And we're trading, fair enough. Good old trade. And I think we win. That was pretty good. Oh dear me, that sure was a quick battle. I do hope you'll come back here again sometime. Uh, maybe, Dresner. Oh, you. You're too much. You and your Pokemon are simply charming. Oh. Oh, you're going already? Farewell, then. With your Pokemon, I'm sure you can beat the last of us. Thank you, Dresner. And the last of us will be left till next time. Thank you very much for joining me in our little escapade through Pokemon X's Elite Four. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here if you want to. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.